I've got your answers. Hi, I'm Matt Apperson uh, from securitystore.com and today we're gonna hook up twist on BNC connectors to RG6 cable. Okay, so in some cases you probably buy prefabricated cable, kind of looks like this. This is a 25 footer and it'll already have the ends made on it for you. Um, it'll have the BNC and the power cable. But in some cases, uh, the sizes that we carry may not be what you need. So you may have been uh, got a 500 foot roll of uh, Siamese cable, which is RG6 and power combined. The only difference is, is with the RG6 Siamese cable, you won't have any fittings on it. So you'll need to install your own, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So we're going to do away with this, and uh, let me show you a simple tool. This is a tool that we carry. This is for cutting coax, and it makes it real simple. So all you'll need to do is take an end of the cable, and you're going to come back maybe about a half an inch, and you'll lay your cutter on the cable, and just crimp it down, and just spin. And then uh, we'll take our pair of pliers here, and we'll just rip the end of it off. Okay, underneath this, there's going to be a couple of layers here. So you'll have your uh, shielded outer core, uh, which we're just going to basically, you don't want to cut this off. Uh, a lot of times if you cut this off, you'll end up with a bad ground connection and you won't get too much video. Uh, or you may have a jumpy video or scratchy video. And also you want to make sure that when you roll it back over the casing that you don't have any extra braids of this laying into this area here because if it touches this next pin that we're going to reveal um, you can end up with a shorted video uh, video loss or something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this off here and you're probably going to want to, uh, just a standard pair of strippers so what we'll do is we're going to cut this about oh, I don't know about an eighth of an inch right above what we originally had cut off and sometimes you may need to kind of twist. This is kind of tough to get off. And this reveals the copper center pin. Uh, of course, this is too much to fit into this. It's too long. So what we need to do is we're going to shorten this up. And what we want to make sure is that we want to make sure maybe we have, oh, about three-eighths of an inch of it, leaving you with something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here and we're just going to screw this on. So again, make sure that you don't have any copper, you know, sh inside here or touching this pin in any way. So this is actually just going to slip on here like this. And you can actually just give it a little twist and it should pop on. And then you're just going to screw it down into place. So now you've got that on there tight, you can uh, take this extra copper here that's hanging and sometimes it'll fall off because it's been cut by the threads. And then usually what I do is I'll just take the excess and I'll wrap it around. You can tape this up with like electrical tape if you want or you can just kind of leave it hanging. Or you know just tuck it up so it looks kind of like this. A lot of guys will just cut this off and then run a, run a little piece of electrical tape around, the, around it to uh, keep it covered up. That's entirely up to you. But now you have your RG6 with your twist-on connector fitted. And that should do it. 